and we're synced. I know there's nothing in my slate, I just used to sync the sound and picture. Hello guys, today I want to talk to you about the recent announcements from Canon concerning EOS R5. Uh, we live in an amazing time when we have so many cameras to choose from, 8K, 6K, 12K from Blackmagic. Uh, the resolutions that the manufacturers are pushing are staggering, simply. Uh, first of all, this video is going to be helpful for filmmakers, videographers, and photographers, but probably not as helpful for photographers. Although, if you're a photographer and if you're into uh, cinematography and filmmaking, tune in, and I hope you learn something new. So, uh, I wanted to address concerns about overheating that a lot of people were having. And I'm inclined to agree that for a filmmaker, uh, particularly a documentary filmmaker, this is going to be a problem. And um, you know, for instance, in a scenario where you're shooting a, say, log take, uh, say, an interview, right? Or if you're a narrative filmmaker and if you're doing a long uh, gimbal shot, right? And suddenly your camera has overheated. And um, a lot of people mentioned film. Uh, 1635, it doesn't matter. And I don't think it quite applies to film because film just rolls out. It ends. Uh, once the film ends, you, you're out, you know? <laughs> Uh, but there's no telling when your camera might overheat and that's gonna be a deciding factor for me as a filmmaker, as a director, a cinematographer because I always look at cameras from a directorial standpoint like in what way it's gonna advance my story, is it gonna make it more difficult uh, what challenges uh, or looks using a certain camera brings to the story and again story should always be ahead of resolutions, you know. Uh, most of us will probably not uh, gonna be end up shooting in 8K or 12K, uh, and frankly, you don't need even 4K to, sh to tell a really good story, to make a really good film. Mm, uh, but having that 8K capability is nice. Now, who I think this camera is for are photographers, uh, videographers, hybrid shooters, uh, people who want to shoot five, uh, four 20 second segments and just go and shoot pictures hang out you know shoot a little bit more but it's definitely not for a uh, professional workflow when uh, you have um, uh, you know a liability issue with a camera overheating we already have that oil liability in the film industry uh, but the then exemplifies uh, because you are uh, uh, you know, say you're doing a camera shot, you're using an EOS R5 in a place where, say, a red or a black magic Ursa or something can't reach, right? So you, you, you have your EOS R5 mounted and you've done the entire take uh, and suddenly you didn't record anything because your camera just overheated and it's, of course, uh, not going to be a production camera. I don't think it's going to be. And here's the thing, uh, EOS R5 just fits into the bracket where, e, where C300 right now fits, you know. Uh, and uh, for a filmmaker, videographer, uh, C300 is probably going to be a more favorable camera to buy. And for a photographer, hybrid shooter, EOS R5 is of course a, a great choice, you know, and, and having that extra resolution, you know. Uh, the question is, does it help you tell your story? Uh, are you better off buying an EOS R6 and maybe shooting in 4K and uh, investing into a lens or, or a light or something else that's gonna help you tell your story? Because in the end of the day, it's all about the story. So guys, I hope uh, this has been helpful uh, to everyone. Uh, if you're a beginner filmmaker, especially, and you're looking to buy a camera and you think, well, you know, you know, uh, I have this much money to spend and should I and uh, it's probably best to think strategically about uh, what you're gonna purchase you know and uh, like I always thought about uh, like can it really do a, um, a world of difference or am I better off shooting in lesser resolution but with better lenses so yeah, this has gone for too long and you know, I hope, uh, you know, I'll see you guys again. You subscribe and like uh, if you like movies uh, and if you like 
video uh, content like this. So uh, there's, uh, you know, and let me know what you think about the slate, you know. Uh, what should I really put in it? I don't know, it's probably going to be the title of the video, but um, until next time.